Okay, so now that we've looked at that this is a production of possibilities curve, um, that if this line, this line is a pure, um, using all of our resources, so we're, if we're producing an A, B, or C, we're using all of our resources as efficiently as possible. We know point X, we're calling it recessionary because we're not using all of our resources. So that means that people aren't working, factories are idle, maybe some fields aren't being used to grow stuff. And then we know the point Z way up here, as for right now, is impossible because we don't have enough resources. Okay, so then let's look at how can we get to where our economy can grow? How can we achieve economic growth so we can go from curve one being as good as it gets to go all the way up here to curve two being as good as it gets? And again, that doesn't mean we have to produce there. It means that is the limit. The, the best that we can possibly do is currently uh, curve one. We want to get to curve two. We want to be able to move this curve up to curve two. And essentially, we have to find economic growth. And there's five or six ways we can do this. And I want you to make sure you know these because the test is going to be very heavy in understanding how we achieve economic growth. And to be fair, we can also achieve economic contraction, which we'll also talk about um, here in a second. So there are five things that can do it for us. Number one is technology. If we get better, to, and by the way, little, um, deltas, little delta means change in. A triangle means change in. So if we get better technology, that means we can do more with less. Right? If we automate, I know it sounds bad for the people who lose their jobs due to automation, but if you think about it, let's say that, I'd say that 50 people in my class are working. We have a class that's just the economy itself, and everybody's working. So we're here at, on curve one, and things are great, but then all of a sudden we come up with ways to automate, so 10 of those people lose their jobs. Well, that's too bad. But what that means is that those 10 people can now go do something else. They can produce even more stuff than we could have before because that automation is allowing us to produce the same amount using 10 people less. So our production possibilities mean, has grown. Our possibilities, our curve, our frontier has grown because we're doing more with less and those people can now go and do something else. Okay? Another one is a change in human capital. Human capital is really important. It is education and job training. The more that we educate people, the more that people are trained on how to do their jobs better, the more likely that we can produce more using the same amount of resources that we have. Obviously, if we just find more resources, then we can produce more. But this is how we achieve economic growth without actually finding new resources, right? Without finding 100 billion barrels of oil, right? This is, these are ways to actually use what we have to, to, to get economic growth. Um, another one is a change in population. If we have people coming in the United States, whether through immigration or through birth, um, we can just produce more stuff. More people means more stuff. That's why businesses tend to be very pro-immigration because it gives them the opportunity to hire workers and, and produce stuff um, that you know a lot of people have um, opinions on whether or not we should do that, but the reality is Economically speaking, um, immigrants are good for production, whether that's, um, whether that's high tech stuff or whether that's manufacturing or whether it's agriculture. Immigrants tend to increase our production possibilities curve. Um, and if we lose immigrants or we have a, you know, a horrible plague or something like that or a horrible war that loses lots of people, then our production possibilities curve actually can go in. In fact, our curve can actually go in, we'll call this curve three, where this could be as good as it gets. If we have a horrible population thing where we lose half the American population, then this curve might be as good as it gets. All right, so if we get more, then we can achieve more population growth and we can achieve more production. Another one would be a change in government policies. That might mean cutting taxes on some production um, costs to allow businesses to produce more stuff. It might mean subsidizing. So it could be taxing. Um, it could be subsidizing when the government subsidizes, encouraging companies to make more of this or more of that. They oftentimes do that with like um, producing hybrid cars, electric cars, right? Trying to give them subsidies as incentives to make more of those. Um, or just basic laws that change the way that companies, 
like the you know the environment and the rules for companies and they can make more stuff or what those laws could do is they could allow for cheaper education maybe the government can give everyone free college or much cheaper college um, and what that does is it allows more people to create more human capital and by more human capital we tend to actually have better technology so these things can kind of lead into each other and that comes my last part also is if we become more productive um, or more efficient right this can also come from government policies that um, you know maybe incentivize people becoming engineers or economists or where we can take information and do more with that and become more productive the productivity um, equation is a simple output over input you'll be looking at um, this as you go forward we're going to have homework on it and videos doing lots of examples on how we can actually become more productive which allows us to make more stuff using the same amount of resources that we have so now you've seen that these five things here can assist us in moving from point from curve one which was our maximum now to curve two so now we can achieve point Z maybe we couldn't have achieved point Z but we did some of this stuff as an economy as a nation as as a people and we have grown our economy that now point Z is possible it was impossible before now it is possible because of economic growth using some of these or all of these factors okay